All right, people, I'm at Wholesale Tropicals and I'm actually here to buy something else. I'm currently filming the video where I'm getting the snakeheads. But people, yo, I just came across this. Here it is. This archer fish and oh, I can't lie, I want it, man. I'm going to do some quick research, but there's a very good chance I'm going to get it. Archer fish are those fish that shoot water out of their mouth and they get insects in there. And the pattern looks really, really cool. Now, there's a few different types. There's like the brackish type and that, which can get a bit bigger and aggressive. But that one back there is a fresh water one and that one should be fine in my tank. I'm thinking I'm going to put it in the 240. It's quite empty right now, so it shouldn't have too much problems in there. And I can experiment with some feeding in there. But yeah, let me quickly grab that fish and then I'll see you guys back home. All right, people, and we are back from Wholesale Tropicals. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I was actually recording a video where I bought the snakehead, which is in the tank right now. By the time you're watching this video, that video should already be out. So make sure you check it out. I'll put it up here somewhere. But yeah, whilst I was walking around the shop, I did have a little dilemma. You see, I gave myself a rough 40 pound budget and I did want to get two of these snakeheads, but I wasn't sure how they would react. Um, when you have them in a group of three also the remaining ones they were a little bit smaller so i didn't really want to get them so i did have some money left over to look around the store and i was looking everywhere and for some reason i always always walked past this archer fish but i never really stopped to realize what i was looking at like subconsciously i knew it was an archer fish but my brain didn't make the connection of you know that archer fishes are the fish that shoot out water I mean, yo, we are definitely going to have to try that out, man. I'm thinking I might get some crickets from pets at home and then we'll do a bit of experimenting. I might put the crickets just above the water and see if the archer fish sees it and then strikes it down with some water. However, in the store, they did say that the archer fish are eating flake food. So hopefully it should be fine with just eating the flake food as well. And the insects will just save it for you know, when we want to give the archer fish a little treat. Now, I do realize I keep talking about the archer fish as if everyone kind of knows about it. So let me give you the basics. There are different types of archer fish and they are very well known for how they shoot water. It's almost like a water pistol. Now, they do usually prefer to be in a group, but unfortunately in wholesale tropicals, they only had one. But if they do get some more in, I'll probably buy two or three more just so we have a little group of them. They also have a very unique look, although they are black and white. It's a very unique black and white and it almost looks like a leopard print. I honestly don't know what to call it yet. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Ideally something archer related, that would be really cool. By the way, people, before we carry on, if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this, every single week where I talk about my Roma 200 and my Roma 240, or I do trips to the fish store, or I talk about my Mori eel and that. If you want to see more videos like this, then please make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. But yeah, I've been waffling for long enough the archer fish has been acclimating for the past 15 to 20 minutes so let's go down there and actually release it and let's see how it does in the tank and we are back people yo okay so the archer fish seems to be enjoying that tank i mean at first it was a little bit nervous it did hide a little bit 
but there wasn't that many fish in the tank. We only have the two rainbow fish and the danios and a couple shrimp. So it got comfortable very quickly and it started exploring the tank. And it does look like it likes its new environment. I mean, at Hotel Tropicals, it had a tank with plants and everything like that. So luckily it did go back into a planted tank so it can feel comfortable in there. But yeah, right now it does look like it's having a good time and it's just exploring. Now, as usual, I'm going to keep the fish for a few weeks at least before I do any kind of care guide. I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly and I'm keeping the fish alive properly and, you know, feeding it and all of that before I do any kind of care guide because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. One week later. All right, people, it's been about a week now since I've had the archer fish. By the way, I'm very ill right now, so excuse my lack of energy. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to watch the archer fish for a week just so I can talk about it a bit more in detail. Now, in regards of food, I was a little bit worried because these archer fish, they do eat insects in the wild. And I wasn't really sure whether they would go for the flake food. But people, I can now reveal that the archer fish does eat the flake food and he is completely calm. Now, I am gonna experiment with crickets and all of that, but because it is eating the flake food, there's no rush for it now, but eventually we will start feeding it crickets. Now, in regards of shooting the water, like a little water pistol, I have not seen that behavior at all yet. Apparently, you can teach them to shoot the water and, you know, you can like hold food and they will shoot it out of your hand. But to be completely honest, I need to look into how to do that properly. But once I figure that out, then I'll make a video about it for sure. Now, the last thing I kind of wanted to talk about is the fact that I've got him by himself. Now, of course, if there were more available at Wholesale Tropicals, I would have bought a few more. I probably would have gotten like three, but that was the only one available. And you know, the clouded archer fish or the freshwater archer fish, they are incredibly rare. So I don't know when Wholesale Tropicals will have some archer fish in again. But the archer fish by himself, he does seem to be okay. You see, with schooling fish or fish that like to be in a group, one of the behaviors you will usually see if you keep them by themselves is they will go to the glass and they will would chill a lot by the glass because they can see a reflection well that's what i think anyway i think because they can see a reflection they think another fish from their species is there and they just want to chill with them but the archer fish doesn't seem to do that he did do that right at the start but now he's just swimming around the whole tank doing his own thing and he doesn't seem stressed at all so i do feel like based on this one week you can keep a clouded archer fish by itself it should be fine however of course if i do find some more then i will grab some now the final thing i wanted to talk about about people is the name you see similar to the snakehead i was going to ask you guys to give me some suggestions in the comments for the snakehead we got loads of really cool ones however with the archer fish people i don't know if it's just me but something about its look makes it look like a hippogriff if you've watched harry potter you know what i mean so yeah i've decided to name the fish buckbeak now people i'll keep it real this archer fish was definitely an impulse buy i went to the fish store to buy a snakehead and whilst i was looking around i just happened to find the archer fish so yeah let's hope this impulse Pulse by works out fine but if you would like to see the video i was originally meant to film which is the snakehead video then click right here